Hi, I'm John, inventor of Grover. Today I'd like to do a walkthrough of Grover's features, operation, and installation. Let's take a look at what we get with Grover in the box. This is one of our Grover prototypes. Um, things may look a little different when we actually ship product. But this is pretty much what you'll get. Uh, we've got Grover, the robot. You get some perimeter wire. You get the perimeter wire controller. The wire termination stake. The charger, which as you can see I've got plugged into Grover here. Some installation stakes. It's also got an Android device. So I'll be using this to, uh, to start and stop and control uh, Grover. I'll show you that in a minute. So let me just run through Grover and some of his features. Uh, you'll see Grover has connects to a hose. Um, I'll connect that up to the hose here in just a minute. Spike wheels on the back to provide traction. Cast wheel on the front. On the front you'll see a control panel. You don't actually need to use a connected device to start and stop Grover. It's just simply a matter of pushing a button and he's ready to go. On the front we've got some surface moisture sensors. These are used both for navigation and for grass moisture sensing. The irrigator bar on top, which is where the water comes out. And inside is the battery, a lot of electronics, sensors, um, a valve, and uh, flow control, and of course the motors. So that's Grover. Um, we'll just unplug the charger now. Other things you'll get on the box uh, is a screwdriver for, to help with installation, uh, some stakes for holding down the wire. So let's just walk through a quick step-by-step um, -step installation right now. You're going to get a lot of wire uh, with Grover, but what I have here is just a short piece, and I'm going to lay this out so you can see uh, how Grover works. You start by terminating each end of the wire to the termination peg. It's just a matter of uh, putting the wire in the hole and tightening it up with a screwdriver. This can be inserted into the ground uh, pretty much completely from view, and then there's a protective cap that can be set on top. When it's time to use Grover, you just go to that zone, that area of your yard, take the cap off, and insert the wire drive module. It just inserts in there temporarily while, while Grover is being used. That can be removed uh, for charging or to move to another zone. So I'm just going to start by running this wire. I'm just going to do a quick uh, short loop right now so you can get some idea of how Grover works. The soil here is a little, a little hard right now. Let's see if we can find a soft spot. Uh, now the perimeter wire can be buried in the ground, but often it's just enough to um, lay it out on the surface. Um, eventually the grass is going to just grow over it. Bear with me a moment. I'm going to run this wire out here across the yard in a loop. Now the, the perimeter wire should be run about 10 inches away from any obstacles. Uh, Grover is going to center on the wire and that allows him to find his way around. So let's terminate the uh, end of the wire here. And then take the perimeter wire controller, uh, just temporarily insert that on top. The wire is now active and Grover is almost ready to go. The next step is simply to connect Grover to your garden hose. I've got a shut off valve here that makes it easy for me to shut the water on and off. It's just a matter of connecting the hose and turning it on. Now at this point Grover's internal valve is controlling the flow of water. So now it's time to water your lawn. We can do this right now just by pressing the button on the front to start Grover and sitting him near the perimeter wire. So I'm going to hit the uh, run button, set him down, and he's going to start irrigating. 
What he's doing now is just laying down a reference patch while he maps out the rest of the yard. You can see he's seen the wire, he's tracking along it, and when he gets to the corner, he's going to see the wire and make the turn. I'm actually going to stop him here in just a minute so that uh, I can start him with the Android app uh, just to show you how that works. So come back here, Grover. Let's do that same thing again with the Android app. Uh, it's uh, direct sunlight out here, so we're uh, not really going to be able to see it. Um, so you'll just have to take my word for it. Okay, so I've started the Grover app. This allows you to do a couple of different things. Uh, first, it's going to bring up a list of all the Grovers. In this case, uh, there's a list of other Grovers that we've been working with. Okay. Grover is now on the list. Okay, and we're connected. I'm going to turn the water off. And now I can drive Grover around manually. This is just a fun mode when you want to have a little bit of fun. Um, drive him around. You can see I can steer him whichever way I want to go. Turn the water on and off. Okay. So lastly, let's just start him again. Uh, start a complete uh, watering cycle. Let's do it over here so it's a view of the camera. I'll go over to the right screen, and here we go here. So once again, Grover's starting out by laying a reference patch of water. When he's done that, he's going to circle the entire perimeter, come back, and uh, start filling in the area. So while he's doing his thing, um, I just want to thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting Grover. We look forward to seeing a Grover in your yard. Uh, please follow us on Kickstarter. Thank you.